What up, man? It's your boy, Mr. GC, Adrian Taylor, back at it again, man. And um, I just had like an enlightened moment um, this week, man. So I, I felt the need to, to kind of discuss the topic with you guys. Um, me and some friends was having a simple conversation. It was just about foods. Uh, basically, I had a con I started up the conversation about fish in different countries, especially Caribbean countries, how they cook it with the head still attached and how much better it tastes, in my opinion, when fish is cooked with the head attached. And everybody was like, yo, I could not eat fish with the head attached to it. And I'm like, well, you don't eat the head. You just eat the meat. You know what you eat, what you would normally eat anyways, but the head is just attached to it because it's a lot of flavor in the head. And I feel like it's a whole lot better. And then, you know, of course, people were chiming in like, I can't eat it with the eyes looking right at me. And I'm like, I don't I don't get that. I don't understand why that's such a problem for you not to eat the fish because the head is attached. You're not going to eat the head. Well, it can't be looking at my eyes. It can't be looking at me. And so the the conversation spiraled to also, you know, talking about milk and how, you know, this man got tricked into eating, I mean, drinking dog milk. And so he was like, Ugh, oh, my gosh. And then I would never do that. And it was the same thing for, you know, someone drinking uh, human milk is like, oh, my gosh, how can you do it? And, you know, and my question is, but you can drink cow's milk. You've been taught to drink cow's milk and that it's OK. And you're fine with drinking cow's milk. That is the nastiest thing to me. Like, I don't drink cow's milk anymore. I'd rather drink a human's milk than a cow's milk. I drink almond milk. But that's neither here nor there. That's probably for another topic. But um, also, you know, someone was like, hey, I couldn't eat Chinese food. And it's not the fact that it isn't good to them. It's the fact of the possibilities of them maybe eating a dog or a cat or whatever the case may be. And so, you know, it really just made me think, man, especially how we are in the United States, you know, as a whole, you know, it makes you think about things that's not put right in front of you. You oblivious to it. So what I mean by that is. You can eat that fish or you can eat that chicken or you can eat that steak, whatever the case may be. But long as it doesn't have the head on it and you can see it right in its eyes, it's fine. Long as you don't have to do it yourself, it's fine. Now, when you look at things like racism and things that's happening in this country, people are oblivious to the fact that it's racism here because of the fact that it's not in their face. They're not looking it in its eye. So to them, these things don't happen. You see what I'm saying? So us, I don't know, it's like the media has, has put into our head that if it's not in your face, it's okay. That's just like when people get killed. If it's not a family member of yours or a friend of yours, like you don't care. People don't care. So me personally, I can eat that fish with a head on it. I can eat a chicken with a head on it if you cooked it. Like, I don't mind because I'm a meat eater and it doesn't bother me. I'm not oblivious to the fact of how that animal was killed. I know how it was killed. That's just me personally. But I see that other people, long as it's not in their faces, they're okay with it. And that's how people run here. It's a lot of things that happen. People are not okay with, but because it's not in their faces, they're okay with it. All right, man, this your boy, Mr. GC. I would love some of your questions about this topic, man, and, and your thoughts about it. Um, of course, you can always hit me up, man. Email address is going to be on here. You can leave a comment. Please subscribe. Let people check me out. I'm going to keep them coming for you, man. I, it's your boy, Mr. G.C., <clears throat> Adrian Taylor, and I'm out.